Hello and welcome back to Technic Tutorials, your one-stop guide to learning the Technic Pack. I am Gary and Reaver. This time I'm showing you something from Thermal Expansion. This is the Powered Furnace. And to make this, you'll need to make a couple of things first. So you need four redstone and one gold ingot to produce a redstone power coil. And then you will need four glass, four iron ingots, and one gold ingot to produce a machine chassis. And finally you place the machine chassis in the middle with the redstone power coil underneath, the redstone on top, and a brick block on each side to produce the powered furnace. The powered furnace functions just like other furnaces, except it has some advantages. First of all, the sides of the input and output are completely configurable. So if you right click it, you go into the GUI and it presents like this with these tabs along the side and the configuration tab shows a net of the block so there's the front, the top, bottom, left, right and back and if you left click it'll cycle through all the options so in the case of the powered furnace there is nothing and then blue which is input orange which is output and colorless which is just basic inventory and if you right click it cycles backwards through them. So here I've set the left to be the input and the right to be the output. Thermal expansion is useful in that it uses build craft power. You need at least a steam engine or at least a slow electric engine to power it and it shows in the energy tab. As you can see this is going up and this bar here will fill as the storage goes up and it can store a maximum of 9600 Minecraft jewels before being full. This is the equivalent of six coal in a steam engine and that will allow it to smelt an entire stack of items. As it becomes more full it will increase the usage and the faster it will go. So here I'm pumping cobblestone into the left side, the input, and it will be automatically ejected from the output without needing a wooden pipe. So here it's lit up because it is in progress and as soon as it enters that slot it is automatically ejected and it can eject into a pipe or into a chest. If redstone control is enabled it means it requires this to allow it to work. So in this case it requires no redstone signal for it to work but if I activate this it stops progress as the lever is switched off. If I then flick the lever it will continue as the signal is applied. You can of course turn this off completely and this will have no effect whatsoever. Note that if it's turned off during progress all the progress and thus all the energy used will be lost. Pneumatic tubes can connect directly to the input but not to the output. It will require the colourless output as well as an intermediary machine to take it out from there. Thank you for watching. If you have any requests, please send me a YouTube comment and I shall endeavour to take a crack at it. Also, if you have any requests not to do with the Technic Pack, please let me know. Catch you later.